we got some climbing gear that was in a flood in a basement so you have a bunch of chemicals that have been mixed in that water and we're going to find out if any of that mysterious sludge sludgy water damaged this 15 year old 9.8 millimeter edelweiss uh climbing rope and he has a note on here crusty crag has a note of three floods i think you have a flood problem but uh we'll find out if your gear is good enough So broken the right where the nut came out. Yeah, that's a good thing. If it broke in the middle, then you had a seriously bad contamination mm -hmm. right there. But they always kind of break there, and usually I'll have my ropes break at uh, fourteen. So uh, full strength for the most part. <laughs> oh, it did break in this side. Break. result yet and it broke right where the bad nut was again higher than the, even the first one yeah. so i don't think it matters <laughs> yeah don't do that it's you know chemicals it smells nice look at that knot that, that thing is smush is not dressed anymore no it doesn't stay dressed it can't stay dressed because there's no load on this loop pretty legit i think the biggest concern is the fact your basement keeps flooding <laughs> Welcome to tomorrow. We are continuing the brake tests of these. This is a Mammut half rope, and you're supposed to use it with the other half. And I've never actually tested a half rope to see how strong it is. A full strength rope is usually 14, 15 kilonewtons like we saw. Let's find out what this is. You can see here, I've broken the knot. That's not bad. Ten point two four. Well, it was more than half as strong as a full rope. Good to know. Um, now we're gonna test seven millimeter accessory cord. The knot got pretty tight. It broke on the pull side again. And this wasn't uh, uh, set well. The knot was pretty loose, which is why this one strand is so loose. And the that strand right there is so tight. But that's not what broke it. It broke over here. All right, let's try some 8mm accessory cord. Pretty strong. So this half rope we tested earlier is 9mm. And this is 8mm. And this is breaking stronger because it's... Static in the way it's constructed. This is meant to absorb falls and so it's constructed differently. But it's interesting that this is breaking stronger than this. There you go. Another one broken. Crazy how that knot gets. Here's some more stuff from the basement that if you didn't tell me otherwise, I would not have known it was new. It looks great i think it's been stored for a long time and i don't really think it's maybe ever been used but uh there one we have a loop and the other we have um eye to eye and they're not tied with figure eights but an overhand uh, on a bite and a water knot so same thing but one's in a loop and one's end to end anyways let's see uh how they fare compared to each other now when you tie webbing in a knot it'll break in the knot and this looks like the tail, but it's not. It's the tail's tucked inside of there. It broke right there. And this is usually what we put it in when we are trying to pull in like a slack line configuration because this re retains twice as much strength as we just got. That's a fun fact. Anyways, let's see if what we get in a loop. than double 20.18 and it de-looped itself it was right there now this wouldn't be a random brake test video without some dog bones in it so we have uh camp and black diamond dog bones and if they're breaking super good enough uh there's no reason to break all of them let's just start with two of each so 
So this was only made five years ago and it broke uh, 10% below MBS. That makes more sense. It was made in 2011. You know, that's shocking for that old. They don't look that old. Maybe it something happened when it got flooded, but that doesn't seem like it affected the other gear that much. This is 20% lower than MBS. That is super consistent. Thank you, Craig Cresty, for donating your late father's gear. And I think it's really interesting to compare not just whether or not the flood damage does any damage to this, being that it mixed in with a bunch of other chemicals down in a basement, but that um, knots that weren't dressed perfect, I mean, they were tied nicely, but by the time we started pulling a loosey-goosey knot, um, or the first test we did where we intentionally tied them bad just to see what would happen, and to compare the different sizes to each other, apples for apples, these were all bought around the same time and been stored the same way. So it's kind of neat to see that the accessory cord was stronger than a half rope, but that the half rope was stronger than I thought it would be. So uh, if you guys want to send us your stuff, contact page on hownotto.com. Patrons donating is why I can offer to do this. And if you are going to buy gear, please buy it at extremegear.org as that also supports us. Cheers. Bonus test. I didn't finish this figure eight. It broke on this side and it broke and then like undid itself. That's really, really cool. Ha. At more or less full strength, 